What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Yindra. So a few weeks ago, I auditioned for Station 19 in Grey's Anatomy, and lo and behold, I got the part. I decided to go ahead and do a day in the life of an actress just to, just to show you guys like what it's actually like behind the scenes of working as an actress and just to give you guys a little bit more inspiration for those who are curious about the craft. All right, so I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys in a second. so I'm probably gonna have to leave subtitles down below but I am on set for station 19 I thought it would be really interesting to show you guys what it's like in the day in the life of an actress but I did went ahead and get lunch and I got rice black beans and my doodles really excited about that so first walk in you see the chair, the dresser, my clothes that I have to wear. I have my car back, sorry guys. The mirror, the TV, the microwave, the refrigerator, and they have a cute little artwork. And then the bathroom. It's pretty old school, but I also love it. It's like an aesthetic, you feel me? Very grateful, really excited. I want to show you guys the outside of my trailer, but somebody from the window can see what I'm doing and I just get nervous that people are like watching me. So that's weird. But I'm going to go ahead and eat and then go over my lines really quick. So, um, I don't have my sides. I actually do have to go over my sides before my scene. The director wants to talk to me before my scene, so no pressure. Um, <laughs> but I'm just really grateful to be here and I owe it all to my agency managers and yeah, so... my bun how freaking cute is this wow my forehead looks really big right now i'm gonna go over my lines just listen to some sad songs to really put me in the mood it's a really dramatic scene so that's what i'm about to do right now okay guys so i didn't film anything but i promised to get more footage next time i'm on set next week because i didn't get any footage today but or behind the scenes but i'm mapping out for the day clothes are there I'm just cleaned up my trailer because an actress never leaves her clothes dirty as hell and i'm about to go to the hair and makeup to get this stuff off my face so that's gonna for me saying i have to go get a another covid test apparently i have to do them three times a week and yeah that's just the way the filming is going right now because they have to make sure all the actors are nice and safe so i'm gonna hit the road and i will see you guys when i get to the studio So I basically got veggie burrito, two hard boiled eggs, and some water. Should have grabbed some hot sauce. Was not thinking. So I'm gonna eat this and then hair and makeup should be a little. I just took my COVID test. Yes, I take this every other day. Um, 
I'm gonna probably film one more day of Grey's Anatomy just so I can have a little bit more footage to show you guys. But for the most part, what you saw is what you get. It's literally set, waiting, going back to set. I have three scenes today. I don't want to see my mouth because it's full of food. I have three scenes today. So I should... No, four scenes today. I'm watching my YouTube videos. I'll talk about it later. sad because I ran out of time lapse but it's okay all right Hey guys, so what you guys are seeing right now is me being escorted to my holding room that they're going to have me in in the stages. So every actor gets a trailer and then if you for some reason are shooting in the stages um, on the soundstage, then they will put you into a room that's closer nearby so that when they're ready to call you for set that you're like close by and you're just like, you know, you can just jump onto set and start filming. Um, but yeah, the room is very nice. It was nothing too crazy. It was just like a conference type of room um, that they had me in. And the food was right next to me. Like Crafty was down the down the hallway. And if you guys don't know what Crafty is, Crafty is basically like a bunch of food for all of the cast and crew to eat so that they're able to, you know, be, you know, up and running <laughs> during the entire um, filming process because it does get tiring and you do like you know nobody wants to work around people that are hungry trust me hey guys so we just finished one of the first scenes or shots i believe um i'm already really tired because as i can tell on my forehead it is hot well my forehead has alcohol on it too from like the makeup but i'm really hot and they're getting the scene set up here let me show you. now they're getting the scene all set up as y'all can see i think it looks really nice i'm tired but i as y'all can see i found just a little bit behind the scenes wasn't really able to get much but of course i will add the clips in that we've done so that you guys can But like this my was knocking. But I would be able to add the clips about the scenes that we shot so you guys are able to see that. But I just grabbed some lunch. I get some hot sauce because right What in the morsel? Oh, I'm gonna need to go back and get some. I didn't record any of that, but we just wrapped on station 19. I have to film the rest of the week at Gray's, but I'm actually really sad right now because everybody was so cool. I actually missed the director. I was supposed to talk to him right after, but everybody was like moving so fast. Yeah, it's bittersweet, but your girl ready to go home and eat. Well, I ate already here, but your girl is ready to go home and chill. It's early, so it's only like one.
hey guys what's up well, i am so sorry it is like 40 degrees outside for what i'm in la um but basically i just got to my trailer and guys let's do a trailer tour i will show you what it looks like from the outside but when you first walk in oh my god refrigerator microwave me this whole desk area like literally this is low-key a studio with the hollywood mirror lights here i got the couch got my little desk these are the clothes that i drop my um clothes in at the end of the day so they can sanitize it because you know covid and then these are the masks they gave me and they like stalked me out on mask and um hand sanitizer they left me bottles of water and this is just like amazing like this is awesome like i'm so grateful but yeah, right now I'm just getting settled in. I'm probably gonna turn on the heater just a little bit more. I wonder what's in here. Oh, the bathroom. And a shower. Oh, Grey's Anatomy. You did that. Um, the thing is they're not doing sides anymore. So like you have to go either on your phone or you can bring an iPad just because they're being very cautious about, you know, the actors and um, people not touching sides. Cause usually when you bring your sides to set, you usually give them to like a PA or someone to hold while you do your lines. Um, and sides are basically just like the script, but just a really small miniature version, probably about the size of like, like three times as big as this, um, just so we can have lines when we're on set and we're just able to look at it really quick. But since COVID's a thing, nobody wants to touch anyone's side, so there's no side. So basically you have to come for real for real off book. It's currently Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be really fun to vlog like my Grey's Anatomy experience just because this is such a legendary show. And I'm so grateful that I got to be on it before, um, you know, it's done. So, something checking off my bucket list. Let's go get breakfast. back from here makeup just really something slight just because i'm in the hospital bed so they're not gonna really do much you feel me um i got my breakfast right here i didn't record inside the hair and makeup just because they don't know me but tomorrow when i come back on set i'll record in there because the girls are cool but i just didn't i didn't want to just ambush them with like here's my camera i want to vlog while i'm doing this so i was like that's so interesting they didn't give me my clothes so i'm looking around the room like where's my clothes where's my clothes and it's right here so i'm gonna change and then show you what it looks like okay i'm not fully dressed yet well i guess i kind of am but i honestly i thought this back part goes in the front but it turns out this goes into the this is how the front goes in the hospital gown all right, let me take my socks off. All right, I'm gonna finish getting dressed, but I was just saying this is how it looks so far. This is honestly kind of creepy. And then they gave me this bra thing. I think the I think the hug. Just do the hug then, because that's what made you feel natural in the first one, right? Yeah, and I gotta see. It, they, they all feel weird. It does. Because you can't really hug me back. Right. Because Jada... That's so funny. Okay. No, I was saying if you were coming... I couldn't tell if you were coming to me next. That's yes, why. Okay. Sorry, I was just no, it's okay. Here. Um, did you see the options? Yes. Okay. We'll do the Cajun shrimp. Okay. Sounds good. And if... Did you see the lunch options? Okay. Like a, wait, do they, they have lemonade? Okay, I'm not bougie. I just, if they have that. <laughs> if they do, they would have poured in a cup for them. Okay, cool. Okay. Um. TV mom. But, I am currently done. Here's some pictures I got from today. And now, I'm about to go home.